this first citation here is 117.50. This is a careless driving. We have 30 days to comply. This one here is for the tent. What is going on guys? So today we're gonna be vlogging it up. I got a few things to do with the cars. Um, we have, so first off, I'm gonna need to go to O'Reilly's and get some coffee, you guys know. Um, so I want to return the 806 belt as well as the 785 belt. Um, both of these, this the 785 belt was too small and the 806 belt was too large. So I actually had O'Reilly's went ahead and they um, ordered me an extra 795 belt, which is the one that's currently on the car. Um, so that way I have a spare one, I'll return these, get a little bit of money back, um, which will be good for that. Um, I think I think the 806 belt was only $30, while the 785 belt was like $50. So then I also want to install my new uh, Speed of Sound gauge pillar pod, which we have right here. So I went ahead and picked this up from Aaron on Instagram. So uh, this is going to go in the Cobra, my boost and AFR gauge will go right in there. Um, so that will be good and that will fix the issues. Um, the issue I had with my existing one, um, the tabs broke on it. And I didn't want to cut my actual factory one, I actually just had a kind of junky one um, in there. So that's why I kind of broke. So I'm going to be installing that on the Cobra. Um, for any of you guys asking about Turdzilla, um, it's kind of just been sitting here. Um, the rear end is still blown. I was looking for a temporary rear end um, to put in the car for Mustang week. Unfortunately, I haven't been successful in finding a cheap rear end to put in the car for Mustang week as a temporary. And um, I've really been focused on the other cars to get them ready for Mustang week. So we're not gonna be bringing Turdzilla, unfortunately, this year. Um, Matt is coming down, so he should be bringing his car. So instead of Turdzilla this year, we're gonna be bringing um, Matt's car, or Matt's gonna be driving it down from Rhode Island. So I also want to, I think I'm gonna finally make the switch from the Magic Drift to the 0304 Cobra OEM spoiler. So I'm gonna be installing the late model restoration 0304 OEM style lip. And then we should also get a UPS package here today, which it's gonna be an exciting one. So we're gonna be starting up the 700 wheel horsepower build on Ashley's car. As you guys know, Ashley cannot stand to not have the fastest car for very long. So we have a set of coming for the car, a 3.625 Whipple pulley. I also have a fuel pump booster left over from the Cobra that we can go ahead and slap right in there. And then we're gonna be getting the car tuned by Ken at Palm Beach Dino. So I'm very excited to get that car turned up. We also need to get rear tires because hers are done. Um, it's actually just a lot of camber wear. So um, we're gonna be getting new tires there soon. Uh, but anyways, let's go off to the store, return these things, get some coffee, and then get to work. So we are going to head to O'Reilly's, get these belts returned, get some coffee, get back. I actually have a few emails I have to do for some business and then we'll be working on the Cobra a little bit. Um, hopefully UPS shows up with the goodies for this car. You guys know coffee is life. Okay, and I'll be out right with you. Okay. All right, just in case any guys forget, this car still spins a lot. It spins a lot, guys. <laughs> there is no traction there at all. Well, the tires were burning a little bit. Not that there's much left of them anyways. 
All right, well, we returned one of the belts. They couldn't find this one, so I gotta find the receipt for it to return that. And I ordered, I had to reorder the belt um, that fits the Cobra properly, but we'll come back for it. Let's see what we got. already makes 700 but what year is this one 16 this is a 16 yeah nice all right i'll see you later all right thanks man now you gotta get to work <laughs> <laughs> yep that might be another indication <laughs> and there it is guys i mean you thought we were slacking on this we're not slacking sorry neighbors all right, so I am running out of time before I gotta go to work. I got about 10 minutes to try to install this, um, but let's go ahead and try. Got the Cobra out here, you gotta get the keys. So I got so many comments about this thing being broken. It is hot. So I got so many comments about this thing being broken, people complaining and everything like that. I just had to wait for one to come in, guys. Gotta put some windows down. It's so hot in here. It's about 95 degrees out. All right, well, I don't know if anyone else has used these before. I'm kind of frustrated with it. There's literally no way to get your hands inside here. So my wideband's fine because I can get the plugs through, but there's no way to get your hands in there to tighten down the gauge behind it. So I'm gonna have to use some double-sided tape that's probably just gonna come unstuck every time it gets hot in the car, which is every day in Florida. Um, so right now, I don't have anything to keep that still. Boost gauge is not just not going to work at all. So I'm just frustrated with this thing. I, I, I cut out the boost gauge um, because I was annoyed with that. So yeah, fairly annoyed with with these stupid gauges, stupid gauge pods. I don't know. I like people have said that the speed of sound one is the way to go, which it looks great, but there's literally no way to access it inside this hole. So I'm gonna have to use double-sided sticky tape right around this edge to get this to stay in and it's probably still gonna eventually pop out and then this one is just empty um, so I'm just kind of annoyed with this thing all right so I'm gonna have to finish up on the gauge stuff later um, as well as swapping over the front lip later all right guys so I want to preface this next part this is actually a few days later um, but I feel like my day kind of took a turn for the worse and well anyways I want to give you an update on that last clip as you guys know Working on cars can get frustrating when things don't work. Honestly, it's best to not rush things and the, then you just won't have those issues. I did manage to get the speed of sound gauge pod in the car. I'm gonna have to rewire the boost gauge because um, there's a wired kind of clump that wouldn't allow this to sit properly. I used some double-sided tape to wrap around the air to fuel ratio gauge. This is the important one. This one doesn't actually read very accurately. It shows like 18 PSI when the car is really on like 22. So that is fixed. Now for the actual title of this video, they would start, you know, doing landscaping things. But for the actual title of this video, so I'm gonna tell you what happened and I'm gonna say right now, I'm not completely innocent in this, um, but I really don't think I was doing anything really that wrong, especially here in Florida. Um, Florida's a little bit different, but Anyways, um, I was driving to work and I've been driving this car um, because Ashley drove the truck. I normally drive the truck every day, um, but I drove the Cobra. Um, so I went to go make a U-turn. I'm just on my way to work and it's a U-turn before I have to go right into work. So I go around, make my U-turn, a nice normal U-turn. I don't usually swing a, a U-turn with the tire screeching or anything like that um, because it, it, it's not worth doing that on the street. Um, but as you guys know, this car spins so easily. And I, I guess, you know, part of me is just the, I don't really care that much because the car spins all the time anyways. And then the other thing was, I was kind of looking at the traffic coming up and I was like, okay, well, I'm gonna accelerate fairly quickly. I do it all the time anyways, not a big deal. So in first gear, I gave about half, you know, maybe three quarters throttle and the rear end spun, but I got up to speed and then took my turn. You know, coasted right off into the parking lot where I work. 
go to get out of the car and there's two motorcycle cops behind me. This guy shouts at me to close the door. That's when I started recording. Um, and the other guy banged on the window, which you guys will see. Um, and it really just was not a good time. Um, the guy thought I was trying to show off or be an asshole, which I really wasn't. But you guys can play the clips next and you know form your own opinions. I obviously was not in the best mood after dealing with this gauge pod um, and then dealing with that and then being late for work. Um, but you know, a lot of the times you have to just remember to you know stay positive in these uh, you know things. I ended up having a great rest of the day, but you know sometimes when you're having a bad streak, it just keep coming. So. That is the second time I have gotten in trouble in Daytona. Um, like I said, this car does spin the tires very, very easily. Um, I just wish the cop would have been um, much nicer. Um, usually I'm much more calm in a, a police interaction, um, but I wasn't because I was really caught off guard because I was trying to go into work. Then I was told I had to get back in my car and it was so hot because I had the car off. So therefore AC's off. So it was like 95 to 100 degrees in the car. And then the cop was telling me to close the door. And then I was trying to close the door, but also put the window down. Then the other cop was telling me to put the window down while the other one was asking me questions. Um, I thought it was, you know, kind of ridiculous. And then he was trying to like scream at me, telling me that I was like showing off. And you know, then he thought I was trying to argue with him about the tint. Um, my tint isn't 2%, but you know, um, it's just how it goes. Um, so that is my explanation for these clips that you're going to see. Okay. No, I was just done. No? I, I just, sorry. It was all on video, dude. Yeah, I'm, I'm just trying to get to, to work. Just trying to get to work sideways? Y yeah, uh, I'm sorry. Roll your window up halfway? Halfway. License, registration, insurance, permit. Yeah, I'm just trying to get to work. I gotta be there and uh. You're not gonna get to work when you're dead. You got 2% 10 as well. That's illegal, man. What's going on? It, that's it's not two percent. It's not two. Read me that number. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm not trying to argue with you. Just read me the number. Okay, it says two percent, sir. Um. Where do you work? This should be my new one. Yeah. Where? Here? Stewie. I'll take it. You're down. Do you have your insurance? Um, yeah, it's on my phone. Can I pull that up for you? Well, this blows. You can see him printing away. <sighs> Literally right outside work. So, that's cool. Making me wait, making me late for work. Probably giving me a tent ticket. Probably try to get me for an exhaust ticket too. Who knows? I think what's worse is I'm getting, I'm late for work because of this. So that's cool. That's just running away some tickets. I'm getting sunburnt, car's hot. It's hot in here. Great way. Go on with the day. He's gonna come back with a book of stuff for sure. I tried to tell him I was late for work. I told me he would tell my car and take it away because I'm reckless driving. Here's your license. Thank you. Here's your registration. This first citation here is 117.50. This is a careless driving. We have 30 days to comply. This one here is for the tent. 116. 30 days to comply, okay? Alright. That's 
great. 2% driver side, great. That's lots of fun. Careless driving. All right, well, now after that fun stuff, I can go to work. And just so you know, that 117.50 is a misprint. It's actually a $166 ticket. For the computer put 117. If you pay it, it'll just be 117. Okay. But uh, it's supposed to be a 166. All right. Sure. All right, guys, and on that note, um, I'm gonna leave you with this. Make sure you slap that like button down below. If you are new here, hit the subscribe button, or if you have been watching for a while, hit the alert bell. That lets you know when I upload new videos. We have a lot of cool stuff coming, including the Ashley's build on her car. Um, we're installing those parts tomorrow, um, so I am so excited. Um, we also have some cool other videos coming soon. So, if you are new here, hit the subscribe button. I was a little worried about sharing this interaction with the cop because you know a lot of people will be judgmental of me and the way that I handled it like I told you guys it was already an off day and I was completely caught off guard by the fact that I was trying to go into work and I was told to get back in my car but anyways we'll end the video there and roll the outro